magic in the air As fairest with the charms Work wonders everywhere Spin, spin, do spin, spin, spin Weave and sew the lace and trim Wheels will run as all join in to spin Spin, do spin The king loves roar And weave in silk and tassel And every sash you see Was spun right here by me So spin, spin, do spin, spin, spin Weave and sew the lace and trim We'll swirl around as all join in to Commotion. Oh, you up to no good again? Playing mischief on the queen. Last week, you pushed the queen's guard into the well. Yesterday, you let her dog out. And today, today, you've upset the queen more than ever. If you don't start doing some good deeds with your wealthy powers, you will be banned from this kingdom forever. I'm warning you, young man. This is your last chance. Now go. Go! Queen's filling the royal pond with her tears. Why is she so sad? She wants to have a child. First, the girl becomes a woman, then becomes a bride. One day she hears children laughing, stirring something deep inside. Busy ladies at their spindles make a thing or two. Oh, how I wish, oh, how I yearn, my dreams would all come true. Spin, 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 but could you spin a child for the king? Could you spin a child for the queen? Can you spin? The child that I dream of spins, spindles, Why are you weeping, dear queen? Who said that? Oh, my. You can stop your weeping, queen, for I have come to help you. Who are you? I'm an elf, come to do you a good deed. With magic. Magic? Yes. Why, only yesterday, I turned an ugly duckling into a beautiful swan. You did? With special spells. You mean 
You mean you might even have a very special spell just for me? You see, for so long I've wanted a child. Still, I have none. I gather the tail of a rabbit. Add some apple cider. Take some fresh snow from a hilltop. And from a true queen, take a teardrop. And with this rose bush, has the power, put under your pillow, it will flower. And with all this magic from the wild, within a year, you will have a child. the mountain.
snow. That crashing at my door. Just me. My door. Just me. Oh, go away. I don't need a new doormat. Master, master. Master, master. I've done something wonderful. Fallen out of my tree hardly. No, I've gathered the ingredients to make the magic potion. Good. Yeah. Looks like you need it. No, not for me, for the Queen. To bring her a child. Now, this better not be a joke. You don't see me laughing now, do you? Well. Well, what? The ingredients. Oh, sorry. Get a hold of the book of spells. Look up page 22 at the bottom. Dearest love, it's so good to be home again. (laughs) 
Ah, I'm so thirsty. Oh, no, 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 darling. Really, I'm so thirsty. Oh, but I'm very, very thirsty. <laughs> I, I'm... Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Please, my darling. I, oh, 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 oh. to have a child. Now, that is good news. Yeah. Now, why didn't you tell me in the first place? Well, I was going to. This calls for a celebration. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, after you. Oh, no, after you, please. Oh, really? Please. Okay. What's her name? What shall we call her? When I longed for a child, I was given some magic in the form of a thorn rose. I've decided to call her Rosebud. Oh. Hi. We shall proclaim this day a day of feasting and merriment to let all the kingdoms and all our subjects know that we have a new princess. <laughs> Furthermore, we shall have to make a list. Now, let me see. There are the dukes and duchesses, the barons and baronesses, the counts and countesses, uh, uh, the lords and ladies? Yes, the lords and ladies. Um, <laughs> am I going too fast for you? Am I going too fast? No. no. <laughs> and to bestow good graces upon the princess, we must invite all the fairies of all the lands. All the fairies? Of all the lands? Yes. Oh, what an excellent idea. <laughs> Of course, my darling, we shall send out invitations to all the fairies in all the lands. Take this down. Um, spirits of the universe. Oh. Other magical guests. Ha! I have it! Dear fairies,
has ordered that a great feast be held to celebrate the birth of the Princess Rosebud. Oh, <laughs> all the most important people will be there, especially all the fairies from all the lands. Oh. Therefore, it is vital that you prepare the nine golden plates. Mmm. <laughs> Yuck. Well, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, tell him. Tell him what it means. It means that the fairies can only eat off golden plates, you fat! <clears throat> Sire, this means we'll have to scratch one of the fairies off the list. Uh, oh, but can we do that? Uh, no, 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 we cannot do that. My lord, each of the fairies will bestow upon the princess a very important gift. Now, if one of them is not invited, Rosebud could be missing a virtue. Ah, well, then we shall examine the list very, very carefully. <laughs> bring, bring me the fairy list. Fairy list! Bring me the fairy list! Mm. Ah. That one. <gasps> oh, sire, not the fairy of blue. Why, she is the fairy of beauty. She will bestow great beauty upon the princess. Oh, well, then, uh, that one, uh, the fairy of white. Oh, no, 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 my lord. Uh, she is the fairy of wisdom. Oh, well, then, uh, how about this one? The fairy of gold. No, 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 my lord. She lives next door. Ne oh, next door. Well, um, <laughs> yeah. Who's this one? The Fairy of Red. Yeah. I hadn't heard of her before, sire. She must live very far away. Hmm. I I'm sure she won't be missed. <laughs> well, then there we have it. Make sure you do not invite the ninth fairy on the list. The Fairy of Red. Hmm? <laughs> Here's to our friends at this royal celebration. We were afraid the day would never be. But at last, after much anticipation, 
It was worth every moment, you'll agree. How good it is to wait for a dream, to wait for the one you wanted so long. We thank our stars and the fairies who bring good virtues to Rosebud, to you we now sing. Rosebud, Rosebud, always will be my Princess Rosebud. Princess Rosebud. <laughs> and now, good fairies, the hour has come for you to bestow your charms upon our daughter, as is the uh, custom of the land. Why wasn't I invited to the feast? Not now, golden plates. Well, 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 isn't she adorable? Plates. I'll show you plates. <laughs> so now I'm 
come here. Let's just let bygones be bygones. So, my little innocent, and you, my dear, dear sisters, your gifts will be nothing compared to mine. <laughs> Mumble! Jumble! Wizard! Blizzard! Toe of toad! And gizzard of lizard! Shaken and shivered from a goat! Take a spleen! My gift will be delivered. <laughs> My gift is a little trick. For with a spindle, the princess will her finger prick. <laughs> princess Rosebud. As my name is very red. When she grows from childhood, the girl will drop down dead. <laughs> you just go watch and see. <laughs> finger on a spindle, but sleep, not death, is all it will kindle. And she will sleep 100 years, so by my gift your evil clears. She will awaken from sleepy bliss when a true prince finds and wakes her with a kiss. <laughs> of white. Is there nothing more that we, we can do? have a wonderful idea. Let's burn all the spindles. If we burn all the spindles, she cannot prick her finger. A royal proclamation. Royal proclamation. Proclaim throughout the land that there shall be no spindles. Anyone caught using a spindle, or even owning one, shall be put to death.
Rosebud! Rosebud! Is this the same old garden I thought I knew so well? Everything so different, every flower that I smell. I thought I knew a daisy, but now I realize I'm not going crazy. The daisies all have eyes. I thought I knew what a bumblebee was, a fuzzy kind of fly with a busy little buzz. But today when the bumblebees took wing, they all stopped humming and started to sing. Life looks rosier today. And I think it's here to stay. Though my garden seems so small, in the world beyond the world, there's plenty of room for a rosebud to bloom, and I'll bloom in a wonderful way. Oh, life is rosier, much, much rosier. Life is rosier today. There you are. For the past 16 years, you are getting more and more feisty. Nana, I don't understand why with all the wise men at court, they can't invent some way to make cloth. Where did this cloth come from? Oh, this was made a long time ago, long before you were born. Now we don't make cloth anymore. But why? Because we just don't. Well, doesn't anyone make cloth anywhere? Maybe someone makes cloth somewhere. Where, Nana? Well, there must be a king in a country far, far away. And in this kingdom, there are many wheels upon which they spin yarn. And all the people in the country are very happy. Except for the prince. Why is the prince so sad? Why? Why? He's looking for a princess. But he cannot find one. Well, maybe he shall find me. I'm a princess, am I not? And then we shall have all the cloth we need to make fine new clothes. Oh. And I'll get you a new apron, and a new dress for my mother, the queen, and a new robe for my father, the king. Oh, Nana. Rosebud, wait! I mean, look at this. And this? What about me? Look at this. What about me? Longer. This is too much. I mean, look, look, this is my best ride. A shirt. Oh, no. You must sell the king. Yes. I must sell the king. Yes. Yes, this is terrible. This is awful. You are the chief advisor. I must sell the king. Yes. Very well. We will all tell the king. Tell the king. Ladyship. But when I paused to pick it up, it caused another rip. <laughs> it only caused another rip. I thought that I'd go dancing and wear a pretty slip. But every time I moved my foot, the hand would make me trip. Lord, for 
16 years, there has been no wool spun in this land. What we did for the safety of our daughter. I know that, but quite frankly, the kingdom, the entire kingdom, looks shabby. I've worn these clothes for ages, and now they've lost their grip. So when they start to fall apart, I'll use a wooden clip. Ha, 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 ha. She'll only use a wooden clip. When I go to the courtroom and bow to his kingship, I must make sure my pants endure, and so I dare not dip. <laughs> Wonderful news. Cloth was made in this kingdom before I was born. Uh, oh. Forgive me, Your Highness. I know I should not have mentioned anything to Rosebud about the spindle. What Nana has told you is quite true, my precious. Yes, yes, but spinning must remain forbidden in this kingdom. Well, then we shall have to go to another kingdom. Huh? An expedition, Your Highness. What a marvelous idea, Your Majesty. <laughs> Irish linen. Afghan wool. Chinese silk. Yes. Splendid. Splendid. A capital idea. I do hate to think we have to leave our lovely castle. But if we must, we must. <laughs> before it's too late. Farewell to you all, my good and loyal subjects. We shall return soon with bolts and bolts of lovely cloth. <laughs> I'll be watching from hill and down, just to make sure that the princess is well. You good girl, my dear. Bye. Bye. <laughs> from here. Rosebud. Rosebud. Come back into the palace. They should have taken me with them. What would you have done in all those foreign countries? Well, I... 
I would have found a spinning wheel and brought her back home. You heard your father say that spinning was forbidden. Well, then I would have found that prince who's so lonely. <laughs> what would you have done with him once you found him? Lived happily ever after. Now where are you off to? To find a prince. Ah. <laughs> And you, dear prince, sit here. Princess! <laughs> oh, we did get some wonderful cloth, didn't we? Yes, we certainly did. Our good and loyal subjects would be most pleased. I can't wait to get home. I do miss my rosebud. Oh, yes, so do I. Rosebud? Rosebud! Rosebud! Where have you been? It's late. On an expedition. And? Did you find any princess? Well, not exactly. Well, now to bed. You can look for princess tomorrow. Yes, Nana.
the door, across the hall, down the path, and over the wall, in the dark, where I can't see, something calls, what could it be? What is that wonderful contraption? Why, this is a spinning wheel. Hasn't a big girl like you ever seen a spinning wheel before? <coughs> well, yes, of course I have. But what does it do? Well, I spin the wool into yarn, the yarn into cloth, and from the cloth I make beautiful dresses. May I try? Oh, I'm afraid you're too young. Have you ever spun before? No, I haven't. But I am old enough to be left alone with my father the king and my mother the queen are away on an expedition. Well, very, very well. You may sit down. Come, sit in. Now, first you put your foot on the pedal, and then you pump it, and then you turn the wheel with your hand, and then you wrap the yarn around the spindle. Well, that's easy. Now I can make pretty dresses. Thank you. You haven't wrapped the yarn around the spindle, child. OK.
Wake up, princess. Wake up. The princess has been hurt. Shake it, Jamie. Now hold on, do you know what time it is? Banging on my door, falling out of my tree, waking up the bears. What is it this time? Oh, this time I've done something really bad. I fell asleep. And while I was asleep, the princess pricked her finger and she fell asleep. While I was asleep. The princess has fallen asleep. While I was asleep. You shouldn't have fallen asleep. Well, I'm sorry, master. But where can I find the fairy of white? She's in the kingdom of Nod, 12,000 leagues away from here. 12,000 leagues away? How do I get there? Think. Think. I'm thinking. I know, I know. The seven league boots. The seven league boots? You know how to work them? Yeah. Good. Off you go. Get weight. Be careful. Now walk safely. Thank you, Master. <laughs> Good boy. Right at home? Already? Time certainly yeah. flies. Yeah, but it happened. She picked her finger and she fell asleep. Of course she has. It's fate. I did all I could at that party. But can't you wake her? No one can. At least not for a hundred years. A hundred years? Oh, poor Rosebud. She'll be all alone when she wakes up. That's terrible. Now, now, you'll be there for her, won't you? Yeah, but a mom and a dad and all her friends. Oh, you really are worried, aren't you? Well, I suppose there's something I can do. 
Here, you finish this, and it'll help you on your walk home. Thank you. foretold many years ago. We tried. Fairy of White, please. Do not grieve, dear King. What has been done cannot be undone. You've been a good father, and you, gracious Queen, a good mother. Now let your little one sleep. Then there's nothing left to do? Well, with the wave of my wand, I can put the entire kingdom to sleep. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. To continue the movie, you need to click here about, then you need to click this link, click this link like this. And then after 5 seconds, you need to click skip at, you need to click here, skip and, at, and it will take you to the movie. Well, with the wave of my wand, I can put the entire...